Sind Sie der Slenderman? Sei Sie der, 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 der Flemmebüll? Ich sehe nicht. Das können Sie mal in Ihr Video nein machen. Oh, Sie seid doch der Flemmebüll. Ha, oh ja. Are you the Flammable Mavs? Alter Flammable Mavs. Good morning, fellow mathematicians. Welcome back to another video. I like this shirt. Do not judge me. Papa likes this shirt. Okay, might. Last time around, we have talked about the generalized exponential integral. And the exponential integral i. <laughs> Today we would like to find out a serious representation for our exponential integral and it's going to be an absolute ride. It's going to be freaking beautiful. We are only going to talk about one case, okay? We're going to talk more about this in a second. And the other one is left as an exercise for the reader. It's completely analogously, it's just trivial AF, okay? Now, at first, let's remember what the generalized exponential integral looks like, okay? We had our en of z being equal to the integral from z to infinity of e to the negative t times n over t to the nth power dt. And if we were to set our n to be equal to 1, we end up with a way nicer expression, but also this thing right here, if we set a negative sign in front and also change the argument to negative set, okay, we are going to end up with um, our exponential integral. Now, we are simply going to take a look at e1 of z and after that you can simply do the substitutions we talked about in the last video to arrive at the final expression for our i of z. Now, let us go ahead and get started. At first, I would like to, well, work with this integral, okay? This right here is our main actor. We are going to manipulate stuff and it's going to be absolutely beautiful in the end. Now, at first, I would like to break this integral up right here into one from uh, z to one. Okay, we are going to just uh, use the linearity of the integral and the fundamental theorem of calculus to break this up, plus the integral, well, the other part from 1 to infinity of e to the negative t over t dt. Now you might maybe notice why I said we are only going to take a look at one case. We are going to take a look at the case where our z is um, less than 1. You can also take the other route where it is greater than one and but like I said it's completely analogously to all of this you just have to add some stuff to it and subtract it once again okay it's, it's quite trivial actually. We want to trace this part back or this whole thing to something we are extremely familiar with at this point. Now we are going to do some algebraic manipulation some really easy ones. So at first I would like to turn around the upper and lower bounds by well dragging a negative sign to the outside. This is something we can do. So by multiplying this by negative one, we could say we end up with this very expression right here. Now, what I would like to do is to add and subtract a one over t in this integrand right here, leaving us with negative the integral from one to z of e to the negative t over t. And you might not see where this is going right now, but it's going to make perfect sense in a few minutes, okay? Minus 1 over t plus 1 over t, integrate with respect to t, plus this chunk. Now, let us use the linearity of the integral and break this up a little bit. Now, I would like to keep this part as it is as an integral and then add the integral of this thing to it. Okay, just simply breaking it up, we are going to have negative the integral from 1 to z of e to the negative t. They both have the same denominator, so let's bring the 1 up here in the numerator over t dt. And also we are going to have plus integral, and it's going to be a negative sign because negative sign right here, I hope you can see where this comes from. 1 to z of dt over t. Okay, this is something we can actually evaluate right now. This is good. Plus integral from 1 to infinity of e to the negative t 
over T, dt. It's, it's a lot of stuff I have to think about right here. I don't want to do any mistakes. It's, it's, it's quite not trivial. Okay, it's, it's not a trivial matter right here. Now, what is it? Well, it's pretty easy to evaluate. This thing right here is simply our boy, the logarithmus naturalis, natural log. That's uh, for once a nicely written natural log of t, you could say, from 1 to z at 1, evaluated, it's going to go to 0, meaning that's just natural log of z overall, but then with a negative sign, okay? Meaning, we have those two. Right now, we just leave it how they are, and now we are going to deal with this thing here a bit more. What I would like to do, I would like to make this up and lower bound, reach from 0 to z, instead from simply 1 to z. How can we deal with this? Well, under the condition that a certain, integ integr a certain integrator exists, we are going to add the integral from 0 to 1 of the same integral to it and subtract it once again. So if I give you an apple and take it away, right again it's going to be a, just a zero. So we are basically going to add a zero to this whole thing. You're going to see why we do all of this in a few minutes, okay? It's going to make perfect sense in a few lines. Now, subtracting the integral from one to, from zero to one of e to the negative t minus one over t dt, and then adding it once again is going to help us big time, to be honest, okay? Now, we both, uh, we have a negative one on both of those. Okay, we can factor it out and bring those two integrals together, leaving us overall with an integral from zero to one, e to the negative t minus one over t dt. And also we have negative the natural log of z. Also what we have is negative integral from zero to one, e to the negative t minus one over t dt. And also, we now have this newly equated integral. Integral from 0 to z of e to the negative t minus 1 over t dt. There was a lot of work, but we are already kind of done. Okay, this already helps big time right here. Now, maybe you remember this, maybe you don't. But when I first introduced the euler mascheroni constant, it was by an integral definition out of Putnam. It was exactly those two integrals added together. That's why we did all the separation stuff. So when I first came up with this integral representation for this whole thing, I uh, knew that it has to do with the Euler-Mascheroni constant. And well, like I said in the previous video, our Euler-Mascheroni constant, Euler-Mascheroni constant <laughs> actually implicitly had the exponential integral in it, okay? This thing right here is more formally known as the shifted exponential integral, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, it's a fundamental part of this constant. Those two added together are exactly negative, the oily mascheroni constant. Link in the description such that you can see uh, where all of this comes from, okay? This is why we have traced all of this back to what we now have, okay? So, negative oily mascheroni constant, negative natural log of z. First part done, okay, pretty easy. Negative integral from zero to z, e to the negative t minus one over t dt. Now we are simply striving for an integral, uh, for, for a series representation I'm already so done for. Okay, so um, easiest thing to do is to turn our e to the negative t into the Taylor series, okay? And our z needs to be less or equal to, oh no, could it be infinity? No, not really. It really depends on your set right here, uh, on your natural log and all of this. Con convergence stuff is a bit weird on our exponential integral. Okay, now um, let us rewrite this right here a little bit. So let's bring the 1 over t to the front and also opening up brackets. We have the negative 1 and also by now we also know the series representation for e to the x for example. So leaving us with summation k being greater or equal to zero of negative one to the kth power t to the kth power over k factorial. Now, easy as pi. The, third, the zero of member in the series is going to be exactly one. Okay, so this thing right here is going to cancel out with the zero of member. And also now we have one over t times this. We can just reduce the exponent by one. 
Now we are simply going to integrate this thing right here, okay? Um, exponential function, it's defined by it, it's going to converge everywhere, doesn't matter right here, okay? Um, that's why I was thinking about convergence. It converges uniformly and, and absolutely, probably. If it does, let us bring the serious part to the outside, then we are simply going to integrate our polynomial, leaving us with negative euler mascheroni constant minus logarithmus naturalis and then plus summation of, okay, this is going to stay, negative one to the k power over k factorial. Now we simply integrate t to the k minus one power with respect to t, leaving us with t to the k power over k. All of this from zero to z. On the zero part, it's a polynomial. Okay, it's an infinite polynomial. It's going to vanish everywhere on this right here. And also we have our z, which we can just plug in, leaving us overall. And I forgot the negative sign right here. It's supposed to be a negative sign. We have this up here. Okay, leaving us with negative Euler macaroni constant, negative logarithmus naturalis of z minus this series representation. k times k factorial, t to the k power. Z. Z to the k power. <laughs> now we are done. There was a lot of stuff to remember. Um, yeah, as always, not having my notes with me, I'm just having the stuff in my head, but it takes some time to collect all my thoughts right here at the chalkboard. That's a pretty crazy serious representation that we have right here. This is just an absolute mad lad. And with this, we can simply derive the serious representations for the sine integral, cosine integral, probably also for the tangent integral, I don't know, but this probably had something to do with the Bernoulli numbers. I don't know, I don't care. I see you guys in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, my comment channel if you like, if you want to support the channel a bit more, but that's it, that's great, support the channel on Patreon. Up until the next video, don't forget to change the conditions right here to actually arrive at your serious representation for I of Z. Have flamble day. Ciao. Sind Sie der Slenderman? Sei Sie der, 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 der Flammebill? Ich seh nicht. Das können Sie mal in Ihr Video nehmen. Oh, Sie seid doch der Flammebill. Ha, oh ja. Are you the flammable Mavs? Alter, Flammable. The Mavs.